You are now watching the Lone Blown. Blown! Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? You're back here at the Lone Blown. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Zach Lesage. What up? And today we're gonna be going over Mad Party. So Mad Party is a really cool deck. It plays a bunch of fun, kind of Alice in Wonderland themed esque Pokemon um, with Bunnelby, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, Pultigeist, and Dedenne. Um, so basically the goal for this deck is to get a bunch of Pokemon in your discard pile super quick and then attack with a Mad Party Pokemon, um, copying all those Mad Party in the discard pile, 20 per each Pokemon with Mad Party in the discard pile. Um, decks like this have been seen in the past, like Lost March, we've also seen Night March, a um, bunch of different things like that. So I'm kind of hyped for this. I know a lot of peeps love the Mad Party. Um, and with uh, the promo copies coming out with Shiny Fates and the Shiny versions coming out with Shiny Fates, I know it's going to be Mad Party Central in the next couple months. Uh, this deck recently did pretty well. This is my own take on the list. So um, if you're missing any of the cards from this deck, head over to ptcgostore.com, plug in code ZLASSAGE5. You can also check in the description below. Um, that has the spelled out version there in case I sound like I'm mumbling at any point. Um, so feel free to check that out and some of the other sponsors. And while you're here, give, be sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up, subscribe for more great Pokemon content. Uh, all I can do is provide the best content I can personally provide to all of you. So let's get into it. Let's jump into it and see exactly what this deck looks like. So jumping into this deck list, you can see we got a bunch of different fun themed Pokemon. Um, we're going to start off with Bunnelby because all the Pokemon in this deck that are attacking have the Mad Party attack. So you can see there's the Bunnelby. Right here we have the Dedenne. We have a Poltegeist. And we also have a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. So some there's, you're going to notice some things that are weird about this deck. So first off, Galarian Mr. Rhyme does not have a Galarian Mr. Mime that it evolves from. That means this Pokemon is more or less just the, here to get discarded and put into your discard pile. Um, you want to try to get as many Mad Party Pokemon in your discard pile so you can start attacking with them. Um, just just doing as much damage as possible. The Dene also has no way to attack here. So like Galarian Mr. Rhyme, it is a Pokemon that you do want to send to the discard pile. The only two attackers that we have in this deck are going to be Pultigeist, which does require that it evolves from Sinistee. Um, it does have the Tea Break ability, which allows you to discard Mad Party Pokemon from your hand, draw some cards. Then there's also Bunnelby, where you could just straight up 20 times. So, I mean, you got 20 times here, 20 times there. Everything's looking really good. You got a Rangaroo to help preserve some of your resources. The resources you want to preserve would be like Triple Acceleration Energy or Twin Energy. Um, Crobat allows you to draw some cards with its Dark Asset ability. And like most of my decks, there's also going to be Dedenne GX, so you could draw cards with Dead A Change. Um, Dead A Change is a little bit more important in this deck because you do want to get Mad Party Pokemon in your discard pile. Um, so that part's kind of hot about this card. Um, Duskull has its ability, Spiritborn Evolution. It was more popular in other um, Mad Party decks, for basically when Mad Party first came out. But nowadays, I think it's a little bit better um, just to help clear your hand for Crobat, discard some Mad Party Pokemon, and then obviously not searching your deck for an evolution. So, I mean, I think Spiritborn Evolution is cool. Mew helps protect you against a Tag Bolt GX that can just end the game between Mewtwo, or between Dedenne and GX and Crobat V. Sinistee, more or less, is here to evolve into Pultigeist. Pultigeist is here to do Mad Party, but Tea Break is also a consistency crutch. Um, and then you got Evolution Incense to search out some of these Pokemon, Great Balls, and Quick Balls. So since there's 28 Pokemon in this deck, um, Great Balls should hit almost every single time. Evolution Incense being able to search out these Pokemon as well. Um, Great Catcher, you always want to discard more Mad Party Pokemon, and this will allow you to kind of draw through your deck and bring up something in the same turn. Um, Ordinary Rod is one of those things. I'm a little bit worried if we discard too many of our Mad Party Pokemon um, that we won't be able to get them back, or maybe we want to get out that last Crobat or Dedenne GX. I think this is a, it's a necessary card in the deck right now. Boss Orders, we could bring up whichever Pokemon that we want here. And Hapu allows us, it's a very underutilized card in our format, I should say. You look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them into your hands. So make sure you're choosing the correct two, but you discard the other cards. So basically the goal is to get, get um, our energies out of our deck and likely discard some of our Mad Party Pokemon. Um, with this deck being very discard based, we have Professor's Research, which is going to be very helpful for us just to discard cards, draw more cards. Air Balloon gives us some mobility. 
then we got triple acceleration and twin energy so i mean we're looking at a deck here where you want to just make sure that you're counting the amount of hp your opponent's pokemon have in play so if your opponent's like a dead agx with 160 make sure you have eight mad party pokemon in your discard pile um you you might be able to utilize the psychic type of poltegeist to hit your opponent for weakness especially if you're playing against a mewtwo and mew gx deck or maybe even a Picarom deck that has a Mewtwo and Mew GX as a tech. Um, <clears throat> to me, this seems like it's a pretty simple deck. You just want to get Mad Party Pokemon in your discard pile. Leave yourself with enough Pokemon in play to get it done. Um, notor notoriously, this deck has a very poor ADP matchup. It can overcome it, but it is going to be a little bit difficult to get through that matchup. <clears throat> so let's see exactly how this deck plays out on the ladder for a few games. Um, and we'll see exactly some Mad Party fun action in action. All right, let's uh, let's jump into it. Give our opponent a friendly hello here. We're gonna we're gonna call tails, and we lost the coin flip. So really, it's not in our our. We can't do really much, too much about it. I'm kind of happy we started with the with the sinisty there, um, making it a little bit difficult for us to kind of navigate this. But that's okay. That's completely fine. Looks like we're playing against ADP, one of the more difficult matchups for our deck. But if we can hit them for a bunch of damage this turn, that'd be kind of cool. So let's start off by... Hmm, let's go Quick Ball, discarding a Dedenne Jack, since we're going to have to discard something anyways. I think we just want to get out a Pokemon that we could actually attack with and see if we have our Air Balloons here. We do have both copies of our Air Balloons. So let's go ahead and grab the Bunnelby. Bunnelby is going to go down here. We are going to grab a copy of Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Um, and it, it's really one of those matchups where we don't want to put down the Dedenne GX um, too much. Or, the I mean, I guess we could put the Dedenne GX down. Um, it's going to be worth three prize cards. Whereas the rest of our Pokemon is going to be worth two. So let's go, go ahead and do that. We could put Guru down. Let's go Evolution Incense. Get some more of these Pokemon down. More Galarian Mr. Rhyme. We just want to try to thin our deck. If we can get an attack off this turn, I feel a lot better um, about our chances here. We don't really care too much about the other cards. Normally, we just try to get the Twin Energy. Here, we're just trying to get an Air Balloon. Um, now, we, we can draw some more cards with Crobats. How many are, do we have in there? We have one, two, three, four. You wanna know what? Let's just try to go for it. Discarding some three cards, nothing in our deck. Let's go Crobat, draw five cards. No air balloon for us yet either. Let's go Evolution Incense. And see, we've gone through a lot of our deck. And we do have both of them there. Maybe if we go ahead and go Primate Wisdom, the happy one on top of the deck, we'll get the air balloon. So no luck for us at all. Um, we just have to go hard pass here. Um, it's not looking great for us. We do have three, four, five, six in our discard pile. Our opponent might just go for an altered creation GX here. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. Maybe they'll struggle to get set up here. And there's, there's, there's their altered creation GX. Okay, so let's go, um... Hapu, there can't be too many cards that we're looking for. Um, so we will grab a Poltegeist, and we will grab a Twin Energy. We're going to Quick Ball away this Mew. Search our deck for another Mad Party Pokemon like the Dene. Evolve here. And let's, let's try to get an attack off. Um, I mean, I guess we'll be able to get an attack off anyways, but maybe we could do a little bit more damage. Let's go ahead here and go Mad Party. Not enough to knock out the ADP. Um, it's it's gonna be it, it's pretty hard to do 280 damage. Um, I mean, considering 
the most you can do is what four eight twelve sixteen is 320 and that's with having none of them in play so I, this it was not really possible for us to get it but if we can knock out the adp then knock out the zation we might have an okay chance we need to get another few pokemon in our discard pile but um that's really those are the breaks i guess 250 is making it a little bit more difficult. Now, if our opponent splits their energies with Ultimate Ray, um, this <laughs> this game might just be over. Um, so this is this is really worst case scenario for ADP. Okay, so they didn't properly split their energies, which would be in two two, just in case we would have knocked out one of them. But I mean, I think we're we're in a similarly terrible spots. Um. Let's just see what Hapu brings us. We're going to grab this. Those two seem fine. Let's just go Sinistee. Do this. And let's put um, this Poltegeist on top of our deck in case our opponent goes Marnie for us again. We are going to go ahead and go Mad Party. So you can see we've increased our damage to 220 damage. So if our opponent's unable to find an energy here, we could be in a good spot. Um, if we just knock out the Zation V. Again, we gotta we gotta wait here. If our opponent gets the Zation V powered up or gets another energy, I mean I think we're out of luck this game. Um, the Mawile is also going to be another valid choice of attacker um, in this matchup, but they don't really need too too much. But we can bring it incredibly close. If we did get the air balloon on our first turn, I think we actually would have been able to win this game, especially considering um, <clears throat> just our opponents a little bit slower than average start. If they can't find a metal energy or a metal saucer, we're pretty okay. And you can see we did pre we did predict the Marnie very correctly. We're able to grab that Pulte guys. So we have our attacker. Crushing Hammer doesn't really matter here too much. Yep, the Metal Saucer, if they put it on the Mawile, they win the game. If they do not, yeah. So we're going into a turn where we're likely we just lose in case our opponent <laughs> disconnects or decides to concede to us for whatever reason at all. Um, dealing with 60 HP Pokemon that are worth um, very limited prize cards is difficult at best um let's go ahead here and see what we could do with tea break um okay and let's just go ahead i mean we we have the knockout here and we have win in hand for next turn. So, of course, there's going to be some Mad Party Pokemon hiding away in our prize cards. Our opponent should just be able to go Mawile, um, and they're doing a base of 60 damage. So, Wily Bite is going to take us out of this game. But, again, one turn away, super close, terrible matchup for us. Okay, so we got Trip 0711, draw, they're doing the flip, we won the flip. Do we want to go first? Now, I think we have enough support Pokemon where we're probably fine to go first. Um, just so we can get an extra turn of getting Pokemon in the discard pile. Now, could I be completely wrong? Yep. Uh, maybe maybe Mad Party just wants to go second so it can attack on its first turn. I, I, I haven't been able to hit those numbers. And based off our opponent's deck and sleeves, it looks like they're probably playing Eternatus. Um, which might be a bit of a difficult matchup for us. Just throwing that out there. They could actually use Zigzagoons if they are playing Eternatus to knock out um, Sinistee very quickly. When our opponent's playing Dino, I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to go Great Ball here first before Quick Ball to leave more Pokemon in the deck. We are going to grab a Bunnel Bee. I think Bunnel Bee is definitely the correct choice. Um, and we are going to go Quick Ball discarding away this Galarian Mr. Rhyme um, to grab a Dedenne here. Um... Not Dedenne GX, just Dedenne. So we could pitch it away. Um, 
start building up those mad party Pokemon in our discard pile. We do have an evolution incense. I am going to put another Sinistee down. I don't think our opponent's going to snipe us. Um, I'm just going to vibe here with this hands. I don't think there's much else that I really want to do. I don't think there's anything really that we want to grab here. Let's just keep our options open and not go too far. Maybe a Ranguru would have been better to just keep in the hand, but it's just one of those things. Let's, let's vibe out here. I mean, we don't have to necessarily worry about Greedy Crush, um, unless, of course, it's going to be on a Dedenne GX. Um, to me, this looks like it's going to be a simple Hydreigon deck that can do a lot of damage, um, powering up a lot of energies. We could probably start knocking out those Dinos very quickly. So we did get a Poltegeist. Let's actually go for a Great Ball, see if we can grab something cool here. Um, I am going to grab a Galarian at Mr. Rhyme. Let's actually just go ahead and tea break that away. We're going to have to tea break away another one. You can see we're getting a little bit of a dead hand here. Um, that's okay. Let's tea break that away. There's a great ball. There's another great ball. Uh, okay. In this case, we're actually going to start attacking some of the other Pokemon. And the other Pokemon that we're attacking is going to be this Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. So let's go ahead and see if we can get something good off Crobats. Um, again, we are struggling to find things to get set up here. Let's um, see if Hapu wants to help us out. Nothing off Hapu. We do want to grab Hapu. We do probably want to grab an Evolution Incense. With limited cards left in our deck, you might be wondering what's going on with all of these. Nothing left there. Let's just discard this. We have one, two, three, four, five outs. Um, so, I mean, just a bit. We have a one in three card chance, I think, here. Okay, perfect. We can start attacking. Let's hit for some mad party damage. We did 160. Um, and there is resistance there, so we did do 180 on our second turn of the game. So, let's see exactly what our opponent can do here. We do got to watch out for Giga Fall. If our opponent does have 10 energies in play, they can discard the top 15 cards of our deck. And this is a Grim Snarl VMAX deck. Interesting. I covered one of these very early on in our Darkness of Blaze formats. Um... It's, it hasn't been particularly competitive. I thought it would have been a little bit better, but, you know, sometimes sometimes you're a little wrong when it comes down to early predictions. Okay, so they are going to switch into the Hydrogen. I'm fine if they're going Dark Squall. We're just going to boss orders, and maybe that will be a, a snap concession. Okay, I am going to go tea break, discarding a Dedenne from our hands. And we're going to see if there's anything else in our deck. Let's grab another Dedenne. Let's go for another tea break. We want to start just being able to knock out whatever we want and drawing into our good cards. Um, let's go ahead here and go... Um, let's go Great Catcher, actually. We don't need to use Hapu or Research or... Let's say... Yeah, Hapu or Research. Let's bring this up and our opponent... Yeah, they're just going to concede really quickly after that game. Busted Great Catcher. So that's what we got from the Mad Party deck. I mean, we, we saw our Pultigeist and our Bunnelby swing for some massive amounts of damage, losing to an ADP deck, which was expected. And we did beat a little bit of the off-the-beaten-path Mega Sableye Tyranitar GX deck. Um, 
I mean, nothing, nothing really to write home about, but it's one of those things where Mad Party can deal with some of these large tag team Pokemon VMAX levels of HP by two-shotting them. ADP really ruins this deck's chance because ADP is doubling up on the prize cards. If ADP wasn't drawing extra prize cards and only was doing extra damage, we would have won that game as well. So reasonably, if you're in a metagame without much ADP, which I don't know which metagame that would be, but if you do find yourself in a metagame like that, Mad Party is actually a really good deck. Um, and ADP is really the deck, the card that's gatekeeping this deck out of the format. Um, Duskull, for one, didn't really do too much in the games. Neither did Mew, but the, it is something that you might want to have the option for anyways. I might just need a little bit more playing with the deck. So let me know what you think about this deck in the comments below. And remember, again, if you're missing any of the cards, feel free to check out ptcgostore.com, plug-in code ZLASSAGE5. Until next time, I'm Zach Lesage. But I will be back with more content real soon. Stay tuned to the channel and, of course, on any of my social media. Have yourself a great day and enjoy your weekends. Really hope that you enjoyed watching that video. I totally enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, share the video with everyone that you know, and subscribe to the channel as well. Totally appreciate all the support. we got a lot of cool things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the social links in the description. Thanks and have yourself a great one.